how pageantry um, started in your life? Well, pageantry started in my life just last year. So last year I started with Mr. International Philippines. I joined there and I finished top 10. And then I joined Mr. Grand Philippines and I won the crown. So I was Mr. Grand Philippines 2022. Then I represented Philippines in Mr. Grand International in Trinidad and Tobago and I finished first runner up. Do you have like a little bit of pressure like will it be given to another Filipino or but you're representing you as anyway hello everyone welcome to the moments and for this time guys and it to natin the representative from Manhart star international from USA hello kamusta? how are you all the well guys parang um, it's so um, unreal now from the <laughs> USA but he speaks Tagalog. Okay, can you yeah. introduce yourself to our viewers? Hello, I'm Christian De Los Santos. I'm representing USA in Manat Star International. So, I'm a dual citizen. I'm also Filipino and, of course, American. Um, and right now, I'm based in the Philippines. And I lived in the U.S. for eight years. And I'm a chef, content creator, and licensed financial advisor. And, yeah, that's it. <laughs> wow. How old are you, Christian? Um, I'm actually turning 30 this year on the on December. Wow, with that age, with such achievements, <laughs> just wow! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, so can you tell us something about yourself? Like, why um, did you join in this pageant, or how pageantry um, started in your life? Well. Pageantry started in my life just last year. So last year I started with Mr. International Philippines. I joined there and I finished top 10. And then I joined Mr. Grand Philippines and I won the crown. So I was Mr. Grand Philippines 2022. Then I represented Philippines in Mr. Grand International in Trinidad and Tobago and I finished first runner up. Wow. And now we're here representing US um, in Manat Star International. So. You know, actually, this was unexpected, and this was just offered to me by my organization. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when opportunity comes, why not, right? Because opportunities, opportunities doesn't knock twice, so just grab it. Indeed. Yeah. And, yeah, and you're here with Manha Star International. Mm -hmm. So with this um, competition, what do you look forward for? Um, actually, I'm with all of the pageants that i've joined right now i just want to be happy and just enjoy all the moment because before i was you know i was too uh trying to be perfect trying to um trying to impress everyone but right now i just want to be myself and enjoy everything so whichever whichever opportunity will come for me i will definitely gra definitely grab it and i know manhat star has a lot of uh in store for us and I'm looking forward for that. Mm. And with all the things and experiences that you have faced, what really drives you on to be in this um, industry? What drives me on to be in this industry, I guess it's, um, it's my supporters. Although um, there's not that much, unlike before, because before when I was representing the Philippines, there was Everyone was supporting me, but right now um, I'm representing the U.S. Um, actually, this is also to represent all the immigrants, and you know, because USA is not is for everyone. It's the land of opportunity. It's, I'm representing all the immigrants, all the different races in the U.S. And um, yeah, and that's what drives me is my continuous supporters that's still there and didn't leave me and still pushing me to join here and right now I'm still I'm doing my best for them Wow so the drive is still on the fire is on for Christian <laughs> <laughs> and this is your second international pageant so yes, far. yes and yeah um, with such achievement why do you chose to be um, to represent us so you mentioned that it was offered right mm -hmm. and do you have that kind of pressure? Um, right now, uh, there's no pressure. I, I don't. I actually just don't mind the people who 
who's you know whose intention is to pressure me mm -hmm. but my my sole reason to to represent the US because it's because uh, actually USA has a big part of who I am I lived there for uh, an amount of time I studied there I worked there for for a few years which I which which was the reason what why I gained my citizenship and also it's my grandfather my grandfather is a US veteran who fought during the World War two mm. and that yeah so that's why I am um, a US citizen a dual citizen but your family s lives in the, f the US um, actually my mom is still there and the rest of my family is still here and I have uh, my few of my relatives still there in uh, Washington State, Hawaii, and yeah, mm. <laughs> in California. All right. So we have uh, aspirants like um, they wanted to um, explore pageantry. What can you um, advise to them? I think my advice is just go for it because I know some people are just you know they're holding back like you know it's not for me I don't think I can do it uh, actually no just do it because when I started um, I'm I don't um, my physique wasn't that good but I worked hard to be to be competitive and I've been placing good on my competition and right now my goal is uh, to to snatch the to snatch the <laughs> title because you know, I'm on my best physique right now. I'm I'm on my best version, and that's my goal: is to inspire people to be their best version and to keep working on themselves. Yeah, we all know that the first um, title was given to the Philippines mm -hmm. in the face of Jovi to yeah. kill you. <laughs> so, yeah, do you have like a little bit of pressure? Like, will it be given to another Filipino? Or, but you're representing U.S. Mm -hmm. anyway. Um, actually, there is no pressure that. It, it might be given to another Filipino. It might be given to me or to RJ, the Philippines as well. Um, but, you know, may the best man win. So whoever performs and deserves it, I guess, um, should be given to the rightful winner. Indeed. All right. So thank you so much. Invite everyone to the final show. Okay, I'm inviting everyone. Everybody's working so hard on this competition. Um, there's gonna be a swimwear competition on the 23rd, and the grand finals gonna be on the 25th. So watch out. This is gonna be the hottest pageant here uh, internationally. So watch out for Man Hot Star International 2023. All right. Any words to the to your fans? Uh, the Filipino fans or international mm. fans out there watching this video. So, to everyone who's supporting me, thank you so much. Marami salamat po. Who's still there and never, who never gave up on me. Thank you so much. And I will do my best to, to win this and hopefully get, get the title. Thank you so much. Share your social media. And if you could follow me on my social media, it's Christian De Los Santos on my Facebook. Uh, at Christian K R I S T Z A N on my Instagram, uh, my TikTok is Christian D S K R I S T Z A N D S, and what else? Uh, I think that's it. That's all my social media. <laughs> so you, you, you guys can just follow or add me. All right, guys. Please support Christian and follow his social media for updates. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. I love Bye. you. Mal ko kayo. All right, thank you so much, RJ. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> sorry, 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 Christian. <laughs> right, thank you so much, Christian. <laughs> thank you, thank you, so, thank much, you so, Christian, so much, Christian, for the being moments. with me. So and yeah, I hope you will be um, one of those hottest men in this competition. Yes, thank you so, so wish you well and good luck for the competition. Thank you, thank you. The moments. Yeah, thank you so much. Goodbye, everyone.